Hello, this is Forrest from Rapid Rollout. In this screencast, I'm going to show how to configure a simple HD video player and workbench using the new VLC media player integration features. VLC is a popular open source media player. You can learn more about VLC at videoland.org. For this demo, I'll be creating a media player appliance that loops a 720p trailer for the Sintel open source movie. You can download the trailer or the entire Sintel movie from Sintel.org. So let's get started. So first we need to add some features to our platform. We'll need the graphical user interface, applications, and VLC media player packages. Uh, we need to upload a few files. Um, I have already downloaded the Sintel trailer itself. This is an H.264 uh, 720p MP4 file. And I also uh, have this uh, white Sintel logo. It's designed to be set into a dark background. So we'll be using that in a few minutes also. I'm going to go ahead and get the Sintel uh, trailer uh, file uploaded. And this upload is going to take just a minute to complete. All right, that file is finished uploading, so let's move on to configuring platform options. Now, as with other platforms, uh, most of these uh, options we can leave set to the defaults. I am going to configure the GUI uh, to make the mouse cursor hidden, and I'm going to set up that boot graphic that we looked at a minute ago. So I'll go ahead and select that file. And uh, for the dark, uh, the dark background, we'll just leave the background color set to black. Um, let's configure VLC itself. And uh, For VLC, uh, the only thing I'm going to change here is the performance optimization. I'm going to select smooth playback. And the reason I'm doing that is that I'm going to be running this platform on an Intel Johnstown mainboard, uh, you know, which has an Atom N270 processor, and that's pretty modest hardware. So we want to make sure the VLC can maintain a high frame rate uh, with no skips. Um, you know, the image quality trade-off that you make when you select that option I think is pretty minimal. Uh, most people probably don't notice it. I certainly don't. Uh, you can see that there are a few other options we could configure for VLC. Uh, we can enable a logo overlay, uh, which basically means we can have our logo display in the corner of the screen while the video plays. Uh, we get, there's a remote control feature that we could use for uh, application integration. We could have our own uh, program connect to VLC and, and, and issue VLC commands to control the video playback. And there's a video title display feature that if we turn that on, uh, the title of the video is displayed briefly after each new video uh, starts. Uh, but so like I said, I'm going to leave those disabled and let's move on to configuring VLC to start uh, when the system boots. So I'm going to add an application. If the application type, I'll select VLC Media Player. Uh, we need to build a playlist. You can see that Workbench has pre-populated the autocomplete uh, list from the media files that we uploaded. In our case, the playlist only has one item. I'm going to change the play mode to loop so we can just play that trailer over and over again. Uh, you can see we leave that to normal to play once through or to random. If we had more than one playlist item, we could randomly bounce around on the playlist. The context in this case, I'm going to leave the GUI. Uh, you could uh, configure VLC to run in the background if you were playing audio files only. Since we're playing video, we need the full GUI to, uh, to run. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save these. And now we can move on to creating a build. So I'll go ahead and get the build started. All right, the build is running and it'll be ready in about half an hour. I've already installed a similar configuration on a test machine here, so let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Now one thing you might notice is that the video quality is not really what you'd expect. It does look great on the screen here, but the frame capture device I'm using doesn't capture video sequences very well. So you'll still get a sense for what to expect if you configure a platform like this, but the video quality does look much better in real life. What brings you to the land of the gatekeepers? I'm searching for someone. <laughs> A dangerous quest for a lone hunter. I've been alone for as long as I can remember. 